Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing really well and crafting away. I hope to be doing some of that myself after this. Um, it's time for Friday night book haul and I do have a few to get through tonight. So um, these fell out of a book I was looking at today. They're vintage recipe cards. Um, they're quite interesting because it looks like the titles are in German. Like apple strudel for apple strudel and stuff and rotkraut. Um, so, but they're written in English, which is really cool. So, I love the way they look and they're perforated in between. So, they'll be great in a recipe journal. I grabbed this Popular Mechanics Do It Yourself Encyclopedia. I know a lot of people find it hard to find um, things that are good for masculine themed journals. So, I'd like to dedicate like half a shelf on my bookcases for that style of journal, and then they'll be easy for me to find when I want to make something like that. But I like the pictures in this. So, it must be 70s. I didn't find a date on it, but the colour pictures definitely look 70s. Now there was Jane Austen in Bath. I think I might have one of these. I've seen one before. It's not in the best condition, but I can certainly do something with some of the bits of it. Oh, it's gifted in 78 or something, so have a look through that and see what it's about. Um, 76 by the looks. It's got a whole lot of vintage photos and that in it and information. There was this Florence Nightingale. I like the How and Why uh, Wonder Books. I've found some on butterflies and that that have been really nice um, cut up in that. This one's a bit different though. Still nice pictures though. So it's gifted in 62 and yeah the date on it's 62 for this one. It's got colour pictures. There might be some interesting bits and the pages are beautiful to use as well. Nicely aged and matte. Now these are all the ones that I grabbed out of the uh, recycling. It was easier to take them to my car than take them further to the recycling bin. So yeah, the recycling bin was full anyway. So um, mastering the art of French cooking. It looks like a novel, this one, but what date was that one? It looks like maybe 78. It's a reprint, but they're quite old recipes. And again, they've got the French titles, but they're written in English, so I think that'd be quite good to make some ephemera with for a recipe journal. A few pictures in there. There was a little golden book. It's not good condition at all, but a Cinderella and some of the pictures on the inside I really like. I like that one. Little bits to cut out here and there. Um, 78. Yeah, I do definitely like the style of the pictures in this one. Charles and Diana 83. I'm not a royal watcher, I think I've said that before, but I know a lot of people are, and it does have some nice, um, you know, sort of intimate pictures of them and stuff, so. Move them over a bit, need all the room I can get. Uh, Funk and Wagnall Standard Reference Encyclopedia. Add that to the collection. I don't mind the cover of this one actually. It's interesting. That one is, it says 40, it says 43, might be 53, 58, 69. I think it's 69 this one. It's got too many dates there. But lots of vintage pictures and information. So these pages are great to use for making pockets and stuff and collaging. Some of the pictures will be really nice ephemera as well. Look at that, that's beautiful. Uh, what's this 
one. Uh, I don't know how many copies of this I'm going to end up with. Uh, Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, <laughs> just keep grabbing them because everyone likes their Jane Austen. Uh, I've never read any of them, but anyway, I do keep grabbing them. But I love some of the pictures and that you get. Um, and the pages are nice. This one's quite old, this one. Let's have a look. It is 52 for this edition. So. Webster's New World Dictionary. Another one to go in my TV cabinet with my other thousand dictionaries. Must start doing heaps and heaps of collaging, I think. Uh, Northern Territory, Outback Australia. This just had a few pictures that I might use. I'm not sure what for, but I mean, that's beautiful. So I can make a nice envelope or something with that. So I'll go through and see. It's got very nice pictures. Australian Outback. Uh, LaRue's Encyclopedia of Animal Life. I love my animals, so I sort of grab everything that has animals in it. Um, 68, this one. Yeah, lots and lots of animal pictures, mainly black and whites, but some of them are pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> I always say that these look like my son when he was born. I don't think he watches my videos, so I can get away with that one. That's really cool. Two, so it's on the other side of that. Beautiful big pictures. But yeah, the black and whites in this are quite nice. Birds, lizards. It's got heaps of pages. It does smell a bit. I'll have to do something about that. It doesn't smell bad, but it just smells. Lots of bugs. Beautiful cats. There's some big pictures there. 1980 this one. And glossy, so don't don't mind the glare. But it's got some lovely pictures. <laughs> lovely pictures that have turned to that. <laughs> Scaredy cat. Look at those cuties. So I reckon I'll be able to get a few of the smaller ones out of that. There's this complete guide to sewing. I think I've been eyeing one of these up for a while. Um, but this one, you know, it just looked too bad to be sold. But on the inside, it's fine. So I think a sewing journal, ephemera, it will be great for that sort of thing. Um, 77. But yeah, I should have a good read of it first too, and then I might know what I'm doing. So. But lots of bits and pieces. You can take that out, fold it up. It's a really nice size, fold it up for a page in a journal. A couple of pages. I'll cut little bits out. Yeah, it tells you all about different fabrics. I should read that too because I have no idea about all the different fabrics. This is Beautiful Holiday Ideas. It's a crafty book. It does have patterns and that which I might keep and see some of those would be nice to like try and copy and stuff. So might have some good ideas for me to try or adapt to journaling. Or even just to cut out one of them and fold it up and put it in a Christmas journal for the recipient to maybe make some something. Yates Garden Guide. Got a few of these too, I think. Um, 71, so it's a bit of an older one. Falling to bits, as they do. Very old, retro-coloured photos, which I like. Look at that, that's beautiful. Okay. 
Okay, Handyman's Encyclopedia, another one that I thought would be good masculine theme. Nice and matte. Um, 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 it is 71. So yeah, real old. Nicely aged, cream colour. So, I think they'll be make cool pages to add into a journal. The Heritage Illustrated Dictionary of the English Language. And it has these little sort of thumb bits so you can open up the index. This one is 73 by the looks. But yeah, lots of little vintage pictures and then all your dictionary meanings and stuff. So always fun to go through this sort of one because the pictures are such a cool size to put on your tags you know your smaller tags and journaling cards and collaging so and you know then you've got your pages to fold up into envelopes and all sorts so. and you learn stuff as you're doing it which I always like put that up there I'm trying not to start an avalanche here the best harmonica method, um, I just thought because it's got like uh, music sheets in it and it's not like a vintage one and that. It would be a good one just to rip up and um, die or whatever. You know, I can do whatever I want and I won't feel bad with this, ripping up this one. So, something a bit different today. Uh, Australia's greatest sporting moments. Not really into the sport, but they're like all uh, copies of your... Um, newspaper pages I actually think they'll make pretty cool um, envelopes or even uh, little gift bags and stuff everyone's been doing the gift bags so and they're quite thick enough too so I think that'd be really cool maybe it'd be good to make a bag or something out of these that you could um, fit your masculine themed journals in Enid Blyton's gift book of bedtime stories and yeah that couldn't be sold in that condition so but too nice to go on the bin as usual look at that gorgeous pictures used to love Enid Blyton when I was young um, 78 this is I just love it though gorgeous pictures probably read this one as I'm chopping it up or whatever those pictures are really nice they'd make really nice little journaling cards yeah I love that that's a good find that one uh, Pentax M and K series camera book don't know why I grabbed this I think a masculine theme again not saying that women don't like this sort of thing, but um, 78, it's just something a bit different to make pages and ephemera out of. Or anyone who likes photography, if I do a photography, photography style journal at some stage, which I might. Rose gardening, love the cover on it. It's not in very good condition though. It's been chopped up a bit. Um, date on this one 95 so, beautiful roses so I'll be able to fussy cut those which is what I usually do with a lot of the um, sort of big roses that are on the glossy paper but some of these beautiful pictures will make nice journaling cards just back them with some card or um, tea dyed paper sew around them add some embellishments but yeah the ones like this I tend to fussy cut and then you can use your gesso if you want to or matte medium to dull them down you don't have to though they still look really nice some pretty ones all right and I'll oh, do that on last uh, this art magazine $19 new hey I thought I'd just grab it and see what it's got in it. You never know what you might find for um, glue book or even that's a really cool background for a tag even. 
but yeah, I usually find um, nice things for my glue book or interesting things. Uh, maybe not that though. So I'll go through that, check it out. And then there was Webster's New Ideal Dictionary. That's 73. And it's just, yeah, words. No pictures in that one. Oh no, there are some little ones. And then, I showed that one. And then the Reader's Digest Complete Book of the Garden. Now this, I think, oh look, I've got an extra. Oh, that's gorgeous. That looks quite vintage as well. Nice ephemera, that one. And I love the start page on these, so I'll do something with that. But it's like, um, in a previous video, I've showed some ephemera that I've made with um, pictures from, it's probably even could be this book. They have the nice muted tones. Um, so yeah, when I saw this in the bin, I decided, you know, I've got to grab that because I did want uh, to get another one or a few of these style. I love those pictures. Yeah, I think it is the same book because I remember cutting that picture out. Depends whether it's got maps. The one I used had maps of um, where you find the plants in the front. This one might not be exactly the same. Oh yeah, those maps. I was using those and cutting out some of the flowers to stick on those and then making little stamps out of these little pictures and it looked really cool. So I found this in a recycle bin, so I grabbed that because I want to make a journal themed on those sort of pictures. But then um, they were having a sale on their non-fiction books at a dollar each because they really needed to clear them out because the gardening ones especially and that just aren't selling. So of course I thought, well, other people haven't bought them. They've had like the week to buy them and they hadn't bought them. So I thought I'd go through and see what they had. So these are all the ones I purchased today. And I had another one of them. <laughs> So I grabbed two of them, a smaller one though, this one, which is good actually because the pictures will be a bit smaller again. So yes, yeah, so I've now got plenty to make a few journals in that sort of theme. It sort of reminds me a bit of Amity Bloom, if anyone watches Amity Bloom. She does, tends to do things with just your um, different coloured sort of planar papers and... Um, yeah, you sort of mellowed colours and that, and pastels and that, and they look really good. They're very different. I don't know if this one's got the maps. I don't think so, but all right. Got some cool pictures though. So that's great. And then I bought this 20th century. I think I've got another one of these as well, but it was a dollar, so, and that was priced down from, it was five dollars, so I've got it for a dollar. Great when these places have sales and the thing is I don't mind spending my money at this bookstore because I see where the money goes and it goes to heaps of different charities like Operation Flinders, Heart Kids, um, Cancer Foundation, um, Care and Share, all sorts of different places which is really really cool so it's good to support them. So this one's 2000 and yeah lots of little bits of ephemera, not all vintage but some of it is interesting though. through the years so it gets you know, it's oldest near the start the earlier dates some pretty cool stuff oh, the big books and then I've got this birds for beginners This one had some really nice pictures in it too. So like illustrations. Beautiful size for some journaling cards. Or even to fold up as a page. So I really like that. And then I grabbed this lavender book. Um, you know, I love purple. I like lavender and um, cottage gardens and that. And I thought that the colours in this would be great in a sort of purple themed journal. 
and there might be some things that I'd like to make with my lavender one day so book on ballet some of the pictures in this are stunning so I thought I might do a dancing theme journal sometime I've never done ballet well actually my mum did put me in ballet when I was about six I lasted like half a day or something I did not like it <laughs> but yeah I did do boring dancing and jazz ballet though so that was fun that's pretty. That was this celebration of Christmas. It comes in this box, so the box can be used for a big journal or to store something in. And it's got a CD of carols and songs. I'll probably give that away to someone. That's not my sort of thing. It has this book. Now, as I said, all of these were going out for a dollar, so can I get the book out? Yes. So it's Reader's Digest. So this has, I think it has your, does it have crafts and that? Yeah. So it has some things that you can make for Christmas gifts and stuff. So I'll check them out. I might be able to use some of the pictures as journaling cards and stuff. But what I really like in this one is this Christmas Carol book. I already have one of these that I got. It wasn't in this pack. I just got it as a, on its own. And I really, really love it and I'm using it at the moment because it has these beautiful pictures at the start of each of the carols. And I've already used a page folded up so you get to see the picture and stuff. But I'd also like to use some of the pages to rip up and make embellishments with. So I was wrapped when I found this because now I've got two of them. I really like that. There was this Reader's Digest indoor plant book. Again, beautiful pictures, journaling cards or fussy cut. Would be lovely. Or even um, folding the page and making a pocket with the picture would be really nice too in some of these. So I'll probably do some of that. Look, it's even got a whole lot of little ones there for little tags. As I said, these have been sitting there for weeks and weeks, you know. I do have a few. I think I've even got this book and started using some of it already. But if no one else is going to buy them, then I'll, I'll rather um, pay a dollar each and have that go to the charities than um, wait for them to go in the recycle bin, really. Now I've got a few, I know I've got like three or something of these already. Family Guide to Nature. You see them in most of the secondhand shops, these ones. Reader's Digest. And yeah, they can have some really cool illustrations as well. This one of all different things. So you've got your sea, seascape there. All the different animals and birds. All nice illustrations. They are glossy, but they're not too glossy. It's a lovely book, this one though. Hence why I keep grabbing it. Now, I have, I'm sure I've shown this one once or twice before too, the last two million years. Again, really loved, oh, I love the back pages. Yes, I do have two of these, I think. It's funny how you keep finding the same books. It's got all your colour pictures at the front. Some of them are quite interesting, but it also has these, they're on sort of a cream paper and they're more vintage style. And I really love that sort of thing. I've already started making some ephemera with pictures out of this book. I've been sticking them onto my Pictionary cards because the colours match up really nicely. So, especially like the ships and stuff. Oh, two more to go. Grab this. It's like a coffee table book that had ten dollars on it, so I'm grab that for a dollar. Roses. So yeah, beautiful pictures. Um, a lot of fussy cutting in this one, I think. But it's your Macaboy roses or whatever. Yeah, I 
love some of those pictures. It's got some vintage style things as well, so. And then the last one I grabbed was this is another Reader's Digest. They do have really cool pictures in uh, Magnificent Wildlife. Lots of wildlife pictures. And it has illustrations as well. They're really nice size, these ones. Even to use for your um, altered um, artist trading cards or altered playing cards and that sort of thing. Just nice and small. So there's a lot you can do with them. So yes, I should be getting um, three more bookcases tomorrow. I'm <laughs> Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if all the books I've got at the moment that are in boxes and that are going to fit in the three bookcases and then I must start moving some of these. So that'll be fun though. Start making a whole heap of stuff. So I hope you're all having a wonderful time and I shall see you again very soon. See you later.